What's up everybody? The new Minecraft 1.18 Caves and Cliffs update is out, so I thought it'd be fun to explore it for the very first time with you. I really want to enjoy the exploration, so I've set my game to peaceful, I gave myself a few items to make life a little easier, and I also have this book. In this book, I've given myself a list of things to see and do in both the caves and the cliffs. Before we start on that though, check out this area that I'm in. Do you see this? Look at that mountain! It's so beautiful! Also, check this out. We've got beautiful mountains over here, and a village right over here. This is literally such a good spot. Now I know I've given myself a few items, but these are basically just so that I can swim under the water without drowning and dying, and so that I can see the massive caves underground. If you didn't know, the caves are huge now. It would take a million torches to light those up. But yeah, so besides that stuff, I don't have anything. So while we're exploring this area, I should probably get some materials. Hello tree, I'm gonna punch you. First 1.18 crafting table. Let's go. Now I don't really feel like making a wooden pickaxe, so I'm gonna go punch that stone with my fists. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Never mind. You saw nothing. You judged nothing. I did nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> I'll just take this. And there we go. <laughs> It's almost like I've never played this game before. Stone pickaxe acquired. Now I wanna go see what's inside that village over there. Ow, my legs. Whoa, look, I'm getting distracted, but look. This is a new thing. This is the stony shore biome. This is so cool. Everything is so pretty now. I mean, it was pretty before, but like, look at it now. Anyway, what's inside of this village? Do you guys have anything good? Well, the village looks cute but there's nothing in it. I will, however, get the iron that I saw over here. Ta-da! Okay, I've seen what's around me and I have some basic tools, so I think we're ready to check off this list. It's adventure time! All right, now the first thing on my list is to stand at the top of a mountain and enjoy the view. Now, where would I find a mountain? <laughs> just kidding. Let's go climb that one. Now, how am I gonna get up there? Oh, this looks like a good spot to climb. a hike this is insane but also that peak is taller than the one that i'm standing on we must continue the climb <gasps> there's goats hey 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 friends 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 don't don't do it that's right go over there thank you <gasps> ah! oh why you scared me so bad anyway i want to increase the render distance Wow. Whoa. Is that a frozen pond? I can actually see the village from up here. This is nuts. Oh, but I think it's time to get down now. These goats are freaking me out. <gasps> is that a meadow? Wait, the next thing on my list is to find a meadow and listen to a music disc. Look at the biome. That's another new one. Out of all the biomes added to Minecraft, I think the meadow is one of my new favorites. Oh. Oh my gosh, it has flowers, minty colored grass, and there's bunnies. Hi. Whoa, look at the mountain from this side. Yep, this is my new favorite place. Now, if you didn't already know, playing a music disc in a meadow is one of the new advancements added to the update. For me to do that though, um, I need a diamond and I need a music disc. In this new update, mining and all of the ores and stuff kind of changed. And I think it's easier to find diamonds if we dig really, really close to the bottom, almost by negative 64. Oh, it is so dark. I think it's time for a potion of night vision. Ah. I went through an entire pick and I just got to level zero. 64 more levels to go. Bedrock. Wow, it took me two pickaxes and two night vision potions to get down here. Mining is no joke. But now I'm on the hunt for diamonds. <gasps> no way. It was only one? 
but that's all I need. A fan of you decided to go mining in the new update, I highly suggest you enchant a pick. I've only got one left. But okay, now that we're back in the meadow, we can make a jukebox. And now all we need is a music disc. Whoa. You think there's a disc down here? There's kind of not really a great way to go down there though. Hold on, I have an idea. There we go. Now let's drink another night vision potion and hopefully we can find a dungeon. Hey, there's diamonds in the ceiling. Another diamond? I have no reason for this, but I'm gonna take it. Are you serious? Why is it that when I'm not looking for diamonds, I find so many? <gasps> a dungeon. Please let there be a disc in one of these chests. No, but there's a name tag. What about this one? Yes, and it's my favorite one. Are you ready? Here we go. The sound of music. That is so cute. But okay, it's time for the next thing on my list. I want to fall into snowier snow, and then I want to make snow boots so I don't fall into the snowier snow. Now, luckily for me, there's a bunch of snow over here, but I think the odds of me finding snowier snow are better if I go up in the mountains. You know what might be a good idea? I should make a sword and get some leather first for the boots. That way I have them before I climb all the way back up the mountain. Hello. I'm sorry to do this, but I need some leather. Ta-da. We're ready to go. I have arrived, but I don't see any snowier snow. Does it look different? Because I can't tell. <gasps> Oh, it's hurting me! Ah! Oh, no. oh, stop. Aha! That is so cool. Look at me! Ah! Stop it. Okay, that might be my new favorite thing. Is there more right here? Oh, that's it too. Okay, so now if I put these boots on, do I fall through? Oh, there's an achievement. Wait, Elena's a rabbit? Walk on powdered snow without sinking in it. I didn't know that that was an achievement. That's awesome. Well, now that I'm safe walking in the snow, let's see what's next on my list. Number four, find a calcite strip in the stony peaks. I don't know if you guys know this, but calcite is one of my, oh, 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 huh, beautiful. As I was saying, calcite is one of my favorite newer blocks in Minecraft, and the fact that we can find it not only in geodes, but now also stony peaks is awesome. For now, we're gonna have to say goodbye to this snowy mountain, and we're gonna have to go find a mountain in a warmer area to get some calcite. Dude, look how cool that is. I must see it up close. most beautiful building block in Minecraft. Now that I found some calcite, it's on to the next thing. Number five on my list is to explore and travel around an aquifer with a boat. From what I've seen, the water in some of these caves is amazing. What is that? <gasps> Wait, are those chains? If that's a mine shaft, I'm gonna freak out. Number eight on my list is to venture through a cool mine shaft. Since the caves are different, that means the mine shafts are also different. They probably look so cool. Oh. My gosh. Whoa, wait a minute. This cave is massive. Also, hold on, the ice is melted. Is this an aquifer? Did I actually just find two things on my list in the same spot? Wait, wait, wait. Get my boat. We're going for a ride. I'm in a cave and I'm riding a boat. This is so pretty. I can't believe I'm riding a boat in a cave. Is this a waterfall? Oh, <gasps> there's chat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm overwhelmed. Let's get out of our bo- Oh, this is insane. And there's moss down there. Finding a lush cave and catching an axolotl is also on my list. <gasps> I'm, sob. I, I'm too excited. Did you see all those axolotls down there? They have like their own little pond. We are sailing over the edge. Ah, that is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Before I get too distracted because literally everything is happening at the same time, let's try to follow my list. We just sailed around an aquifer, so next on the list is to find the lush caves and catch an axolotl. <gasps> what the heck? This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Is that a lava aquifer? <gasps> a glow squid! But wait, would that be called like a lava fur? I have no idea. <laughs> Hello? I see you. 
thought I saw a brown one too. Where'd the brown one go? <gasps> Wait, no, this is an orange one. Hey, hey. You're my friend now. Thank you. There's the brown one. Look at his little face. And we have the yellowy orange one. And we have the pink one. I think my favorite part about the lush caves are these pools of water that are surrounded by clay. This one has got some lava running through it. Well, look at how pretty these are. But anyway, now that we have some axolotls and we've explored a lush cave, the next thing I want to do is find a dripstone cave and, um, die to a dripstone. Like one of those pointy stalagmite thingies. You may be wondering why, but, uh, why not? I've never done that before. Hold up. Is that a diamond behind that vine? What? I keep finding these in the most random places. Oh my gosh. It's like a sea cemetery down here. Guys, you gotta be careful. <gasps> oh! Oh! Um, I don't think the tropical fish know how to swim down here. Now, if I was Tripstone, where would I be? Aha! Whoa, look at this. These things are everywhere. Okay. Now, how does this work? Do I just need to fall on one? Was impaled on a stalagmite. Ah, well, beautiful. I can check that off my list now. <gasps> oh, it's mineshaft time. The mineshaft is literally everywhere. And I feel like the majority of it is exposed in this cave, which is so cool. This is so cool. It's like mineshaft parkour up here. Can I make this jump? No! <laughs> well, that's to be expected. Guys, this place is massive. There's also like a thousand spider spawners. What the heck? As cool as this place is, it's time to move on to the next thing on my list. Number nine is to find a large ore vein. If you didn't know, large veins of iron and copper ore have been added underground. And it's not just like a few blocks next to each other. It's like tons of blocks next to each other. Apparently the copper veins generate with granite blocks and the iron veins generate with tough blocks. Considering how massive this cave is, I'm sure we'll be able to find one of them. What the heck? Look at this. Okay, wait, we need to get down. Hello, waterfall. Thank you for existing. <gasps> Not in the middle of what? No, no, but whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong waterfall to take. That is right in the middle of lava with like no land around it. Okay, let's go down this way. This is so cool looking. You can see the lush cave up there. And there's an exposed geode. I'm supposed to be looking for ore and I'm getting distracted. Wait, was that a diamond? What the heck? Thank you. No way, there's another one over there. This is the coolest cave I've ever been in. This is, stop, what is happening? Thank you, Minecraft, I love you. Look at this exposed geode. You are so beautiful. I'm gonna take one, thank you. Stop it, stop it right now. What is happening? I've just been casually walking around this cave and now I have 10 diamonds. Note to self. Don't strip mine anymore. I think all we have to do now is find a giant cave. Are you serious? Make that 11. Oh, hey, look, another diamond. And wait, is that an ore vein? There's tough blocks and there's a raw iron block over there. The night vision is going and it's dark again. Let's see. We have some iron here mixed in with the deep slate and the tough. And we have a raw iron block. Is there any more besides that though? Oh, wait, there's some right here. Yeah, this has to be a large vein, right? It may not have been the largest of the new large ore veins. Well, that definitely had to be part of one. I think it's safe to say that we We've had some successful cave questing. So now it's time for the last thing on my list. Number 10, find the perfect place to build a house. You know what? That meadow that I found earlier where I left my stuff is really calling my name. And the fact that there was a giant mountain behind it makes it even better. Yup, this spot will be perfect for my first 1.18 build. How cute is this? It's kind of giving me a modern cottage house vibe. Also, yes, I built this in creative because um, I didn't feel like getting materials. But anyway, first of all, the scenery and the location, 
Amazing. If you notice in the front of the house, I replaced a lot of the existing yellow flowers with some purple and blue ones because, well, you know me, I can't help myself. They're my favorite colors. Now, besides planting a lot of flowers and creating a path to my house, I also recreated one of the pools in the lush caves for my axolotls. Here you go. Look at them in here. While they swim around in their new home, let me show you what I did to the inside of this build. So as you already know, this is the outside of the house. And as we go towards the inside, we have this little front porch. And then when you first walk in, this is what you see. One of my favorite things is this fireplace because it kind of acts like a room divider, but you can also kind of see through it onto the other side. But besides that, when you first walk in, you are brought into the dining space. If we walk over this way, this is the cozy living space area. Across from this living room area, we have the kitchen, which is actually really cool because it's like under this lofted space but yeah this is the kitchen i just used some quartz blocks to make some counters we have a little island bar with some chairs there's a fridge over here a cauldron for a sink and we have some open shelving for some random items when we go up these stairs we'll find a small bedroom with a side table and a plant a white carpet of course and in this chest is all the diamonds that we found i know i built this but i just realized that this bedroom has double balconies we have the one inside so you can look out onto the bottom floor of the house and then there's one out here. Cute! Well, anyway, now that this house is done being built, that means we did it. The list of things to do and see is complete. But now, with the magic of commands, I'm back in creative mode. Woo! If you're wondering why, it's because there's a new advancement to fall from the top of the world to the bottom of the world without dying. The hole has been dug and my block in the sky has been placed. That's a far drop, but okay. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.